Shout out to Trey Gonzalez for making the background music for this video. SWAT is 10 84 at Fisk Tower. All units stand by. Warrant is en route. So let's really be honest with ourselves. We're all tired of replaying Spider-Man PS4. I think after the remaster came out, the best way Insomniac could ever make us buy this game a third time was to let the community do all the work. I mean, it was really smart of them, honestly. Just porting the game for PC probably wouldn't have been enough to make the game sell too well. But this is a Spider-Man game we're talking about. Spider-Man games have a huge modding community. Every Spider-Man game on PC has had a massive modding scene. But let's be honest with ourselves again. Insomniac knows that we all paid $60 just so we could mod this game. And I personally think the modding community has done an excellent job breathing new life into this game. And today, I'm just going to show you some of the mods I've installed and collected in no particular order and maybe bring you around on buying your own copy of Spider-Man PC so you can mod the game yourself. It's a lot easier than you might think. And let's start with the personal favorite of mine, the Universal Spider-Man Suit Mod. This suit is based off of the costume the Spider-Man performers used to wear at Universal Studios. I really enjoyed this mod. It looks like an incredibly charming Spider-Man outfit due to its friendlier eyes and more simplistic logos. And I love how realistic the seam work on this costume is. It's something that itches the costume maker in my brain. The colors are really nice in every lighting scenario I've seen it in, and honestly, I think this is the best the Universal Spider-Man suit has ever looked. I don't know what it is, but I was never really down with the hype for this suit when it was really popular. Something about the way some of these costumes look is really wacky. Previously, I thought that having a Spider-Man suit and Spider-Man PC based off the style of an old Spider-Man cartoon would be something I wouldn't really care for, but honestly, this next mod kind of sold me. The Spectacular Spider-Man Suit mod is one that does a spectacular, pun not intended, job of emulating the anatomy and style of the show it's based off of. And if it's your thing, the creator of this mod made variants of this model so that you can play as the symbiote Spectacular Spider-Man. I didn't download it myself because I'm not the biggest fan of these black suits, but you can download this mod if you want and all the mods shown in this video in the link in the description. The Edge of Time suit mod is one I'm just going to straight up skip writing an intro for simply because this costume does not need it. This is one of my favorite iterations of the classic suit. This suit was one of the most this suit was one of the most popular costumes that implemented messy webbing into its design and inspired many, including myself, to start using messy webbing in my Spider-Man costumes. Although there is a mod out there floating around somewhere of the actual in-game model I personally like this one much more. Space Dasher, the creator of this mod, actually put in the effort of accurately remaking this suit from scratch, instead of just porting in the model and calling it a day. This way they could piggyback off the more HD models in the game instead of using the older models from 2011. Kudos to Space Dasher, and I'm very excited to see their next mod. The Fortnite mod goes over the advanced suit, and it's just as wonderful as I left it. I never really got to explain why I love the Fortnite suit so much in my video about Fortnite designs. Man, that video is old. You should not touch that thing. It's probably expired. So I'm glad I can finally go a bit more in depth. Let me get my complaints out of the way. I don't like the shade of red they picked, and the seams on the blue sections are a bit odd. But I love that they chose to go with a darker red for the webbing, and the logos are absolutely stunning. Sometimes it looks a little wonky due to the model stretching unnaturally, but if you can look past it, you'll have fun wearing one of my favorite classic suits. The No Way Home suit is really cool in this mod, because it's not just a reskin of an in-game costume, it's actually made from scratch. This model was made by Ugo9P1 on Instagram. After seeing the No Way Home extended cut, I've warmed up much more to this suit. I enjoy it much more than I did since my first viewing. At first I didn't like it because it stuck too much to the style of previous MCU Spider-Man suits, and while I still think that's a valid complaint to make, hold on, I can't talk about this suit yet. You'll have to wait for my Spider-Man suit dissection video on it when it comes out in a billion years. Because before that suit, we have to go for the Stark suit, and the Iron Spider, and skip all the other MCU suits because they aren't direct adaptations. Not to mention we had to delay the Homecoming one because we were going to get the Lotus suit. And come on, you guys, you guys wanted me to get the Lotus suit, come on. This is what some people call the best Spider-Man game of all time. Yet there's no black suit in the alternate costumes menu? Oh, never mind. The Yet Another Symbiote Suit mod comes in three different variants black, blue, and purple, and all of them look amazing. This suit has web shooters on it, and honestly, I don't mind it too much. It reminds me of the short time that Peter had a cloth version of the black costume that he wore. Without the organic abilities of the black costume, 
Peter had to wear web shooters to still be able to use one of his most iconic abilities. This is also implied by the wrinkles on the costume. Wait. There's no seams on this suit. You know, the lines where fabric is sewn together. There's wrinkles, but there's no seams. It can't be a cloth costume without seams. So I usually record all the audios for my video in one go. I stopped the editing process to go re-record so I could add this suit back in because it just was released. This is the ultimate Spider-Man mod. This shit is cool. Not only does it come in like four different variants, which I'm gonna show on screen, not the model itself because I'm too lazy to go play in game four separate times, but this is cool. This looks amazing. It has a light comic book filter. The fabric is textured, the eyes look great, the web pattern is a little weird in certain areas of the costume, like in the center of the mask and on some of the body parts, but other than that, this is amazing. Like this is a perfect replication of some of Bagley's work, and this is definitely one of the mods I recommend downloading. I believe it goes over like the Secret Wars suit, so this is like an easy mod to just pop in and replace with like a suit probably nobody wears. This is a really good fucking mod, and it, at the end of the day, when you guys go to install some of these, I hope this is in your picks. So ending off this video, I bring to you a mod that has not been released to the public yet, the MTV Spider-Man suit. I hope this doesn't go as wrong as last time someone gave me a cool opportunity like this, but this mod was made by Nikita, my pal Justice Sketches, who is actually working on his own continuation of the show. I love how cloudy the eyes on this suit are at night. I love how reflecting the webbing is. I'm sure it'll look even cooler upon release. There are honestly so many more mods I could show you guys, but I wanted to cut myself a small break and give you guys a shorter but intriguing video. All of the mods that have been shown that are currently released can be found in the description below, and modding this game is incredibly easy. There are countless tutorials online I'm sure you can find, and if you want to do it, you can get it done within an hour. I'm also having my own mod made by Jussie, aka Justice Sketches mentioned earlier, so keep your eyes peeled on the community tab of my channel and you'll probably see it there at some point. This was probably Spider-Man with 60 less dollars out of my pocket because Insomniac wouldn't send me a review code. Do not make that mistake again. And I'll see you guys in the next video.